Fareddin Pasha, and the heroic defense of Medina. The history of warfare is filled with tales of resilience, but few are as poignant as the defense of Medina during World War I, led by the indomitable Fareddin Pasha. Isolated in the vast deserts of Arabia, Faradin and his men held out for years against a relentless siege, driven by a profound sense of duty and an unwavering commitment to protect one of Islam's holiest cities. The story of their steadfast defense is one of remarkable leadership, endurance, and sacrifice. Here I will request you to kindly subscribe the channel after watching the video. Faradin Pasha, appointed as the governor of Medina in 1916, faced the formidable task of defending the city as the Arab revolt, supported by the British, threatened the Ottoman Empire's control. Recognizing Medina's strategic and symbolic significance, Fahreddin swiftly took measures to fortify the city. He understood that losing Medina would not only be a strategic blow, but also a significant spiritual loss for the Muslim world. Therefore, he strengthened the city's defenses, stockpiled food and supplies, and prepared his garrison for a siege. His foresight proved crucial as the city's supply lines were soon cut off, leaving Faradin and his men to endure a grueling blockade. The siege of Medina, which lasted from 1916 to 1919, was marked by extreme hardship. Despite being outnumbered and isolated, Fareddin Pasha's leadership kept the morale of his troops high. He managed to maintain a semblance of normalcy within the city. Organizing rationing and ensuring that the inhabitants of Medina were protected and provided for as best as possible. His tactical acumen and inspirational presence galvanized his soldiers, who came to be known as the Lions of the Desert for their fierce determination. The conditions during the siege were harsh, supplies dwindled, and the defenders faced starvation and disease. Yet, Faradin's unwavering resolve never faltered. He famously declared that he would rather die than surrender the Prophet's city. His steadfastness became legendary, and his correspondence with the Ottoman leadership reflected his unyielding spirit. Faradin's letters to his superiors were filled with reports of their dire situation, but also with messages of hope and resolve, showcasing his determination to hold out against all odds. Even after the armistice of Mudros in October 1918, which effectively ended the Ottoman Empire's participation in the war, Fahreddin refused to capitulate without explicit orders from his superiors. The end came only on January 10, 1919 when Fahreddin Pasha, upon receiving direct orders from the Ottoman government, finally agreed to surrender Medina. His decision was not made lightly. It was driven by a recognition of the futility of continued resistance and a desire to prevent further suffering for the city's inhabitants. Despite the surrender, Faradin's conduct during the siege had earned him immense respect from both his allies and adversaries. His ability to sustain the defense for such an extended period against overwhelming odds was a testament to his leadership and the dedication of his troops. In the aftermath of the war, Fareddin Pasha was taken prisoner by the British and interned in Malta. He was later released and returned to Turkey, where he continued to serve in various military and diplomatic roles, including a notable tenure as an ambassador to Afghanistan. Throughout his life, he remained a symbol of resilience and honor, embodying the spirit of steadfast defense against overwhelming odds. His time in Malta was marked by his continued advocacy for the causes he believed in, and upon his return to Turkey, he was welcomed as a hero. Fareddin Pasha's legacy endures not only in the annals of military history, but also in the hearts of those who revere the story of Medina's defense. His leadership during one of the most challenging periods of the Ottoman Empire's twilight stands as a testament to the power of dedication and the human spirit's capacity to endure. His story is often recounted as an example of unyielding loyalty and courage. In the quiet moments of reflection on his life, one is reminded of the words he lived by, that honor and duty are worth any sacrifice.
Even today, the memory of Faradin Pasha and his steadfast defense of Medina continues to inspire, a poignant reminder of the enduring strength of resolve and the profound impact of unwavering faithfulness to a cause greater than oneself. His story is taught in military academies around the world, not only for its strategic lessons, but also for its moral ones. Fareddin Pasha's actions during the siege have become a symbol of perseverance and a beacon of hope for those facing insurmountable challenges. The defense of Medina also serves as a powerful example of the importance of leadership in times of crisis. Fahreddin Pasha's ability to inspire and lead his men under such dire circumstances underscores the critical role that strong and principled leadership plays in overcoming adversity. His example continues to be relevant in contemporary discussions about leadership, resilience, and the ethics of command. Moreover, Fahreddin Pasha's story highlights the broader historical context of World War I and the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. The Siege of Medina was not just a military engagement, but also a significant event in the broader geopolitical shifts of the early 20th century. The fall of the Ottoman Empire and the redrawing of borders in the Middle East had lasting impacts that are still felt today. Fahreddin Pasha's defense of Medina is a poignant chapter in this larger historical narrative, illustrating the human dimension of these momentous changes. Before concluding this video, I again remind you to kindly like, share, and comment on the video and subscribe the channel. In conclusion, Fahreddin Pasha's defense of Medina during World War I remains a powerful testament to the strength of the human spirit, the importance of leadership, and the enduring values of honor and duty. His story continues to resonate as a symbol of resilience and determination, inspiring future generations to uphold these values in their own lives. The legacy of Fahreddin Pasha is not just a tale of military strategy, but a profound lesson in the power of unwavering commitment to a noble cause. His life and actions remind us that even in the face of overwhelming odds, the human spirit can endure and triumph. Thank you for watching.